بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى has granted us many bounties these bounties need to be used for the obedience of Allah سبحانه وتعالى the fact that a person does not listen to Quran the talks of Deen means we may be listening to the opposite if you are not speaking about Allah, we will speak about Allah. Every avenue, every faculty which Allah has bestowed us with needs to be utilized in the correct avenue, otherwise Batil will infiltrate and it will be used in the incorrect avenue. And this propaganda of Batil through our ears, listening, eyes, seeing, tongue, speaking and mind they will infiltrate so we need to fill it as much with Allah so this heart this contain of the heart can be engrossed and drowning in the love of Allah there was a Russian who was uh, allowed to immigrate at Mos Moscow airport customs found a statue of Lenin in his baggage they said what is this the man said what is this is a wrong question sir should have asked who is he this is Comrade Lenin. He laid the foundations of socialism, created the future and prosperity of the Russian people. I am taking it with me as a memory of our dear hero. Custom officer was very surprised. He was impressed and he let, let him go without any other inspection. When he arrived at the next airport, the custom officer asked him, what is this? He replied, what is this is a wrong question, sir. You should be asking who is this? This is Lenin who caused me to leave Russia, who has caused me misery. I take the statue with me so I can curse him every day. So the customs officer said, I apologize, sir. You are clear to go. So settling in his new house, he put the statue on his table to celebrate uh, immigration. He invited his friends and relatives. One of his friends asked, who is this? He replied, my dear friend, who is this is a wrong question. You should be asking, what is this? This is a 10 kilogram of solid gold that I managed to bring in with me without paying any customs duty and tax. So the propaganda of Batil on the different occasions, on the different celebrations, on the different satanic rituals will put so much propaganda. They'll tell the same story in so many different ways to fool so many different people so that it will look good and people will bite the bait. So all these occasions that we celebrate, is that more important or the occasions of Allah and His Rasul? Juma is our Eid where we worship Allah and we show Allah how beloved is Allah. So Salah is a communication between a lover and a beloved. So on that day are we showing the love of Allah, how genuine we are or fake? So a person falls for the strap, the propaganda of Batil and their ways, their everything starts following. So one statement of Batil is love at first sight. We call it lust at first sight because there's a motive behind it. What's, what's your motivation? A female is married for four reasons. First, for Birati Deen, look for the one who was Deen, not only her beauty, not only her status, not only her wealth, not only. Uh, these criterias, but it is only for deen, the rest is a bonus. But your priority wise, on the list of priorities, what? There was a boy walking, he seen a pretty girl, and he started staring at her. So she saw him, she said, what, do you like what you're looking at? He said, I don't like what I'm looking at, I love what I'm looking at. So she smiled and she said, I'm flattered, come closer. So he got very happy, he got elated. She said, if you think I'm pretty and a bombshell, you should look at my sister. 
she just went that way. He turned to look and she gave him one smack. She said, you said love at first sight, but now it's the lust that you feed in. It should not be that we say we love Allah and in this dunya Allah gives us a smack. On the day of Qiyamah they'll say, Ya Allah, we did everything for you and Allah gives us a smack. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ لَوْ دِينَ We have to worship Allah sincerely. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولِ Nabi came and he said, فَعَبُدُونَ Pure. وَاجْتَنِبُ الطَّغُوتِ And stay away from the false deities. So we have been told to stay away from this pagan beliefs, polytheism and satanic cults. So last discussed the super Kelia and another feast day which was a tradition and custom, custom of Juno Februata which was the celebrated day in February. And February is deserved from, is derived from the word Februa which means purification. So to the Romans, February was a sacred to Juno Februata, the goddess of Febris, which is fever of love. So going back to the origins and a couple joining in erotic games and feasts and parties celebrated throughout Rome. And after these festivals, they would have sexual partners for the rest of the year. And this was customs for centuries. So, and if we go back to even the Lupercalia, which is known as Spain, the god of light. So the Phoenicians worshipped this deity, which was Baal. Baal was the sun god. And it is also another name for Namrud, who was the hunter for wolves. So this ceremony, which the Romans which they revered was the founder Namrud who went contrary to Allah's Awamir and he was the originator of Babylon the Babylonian mystery religion so the Greeks, the Egyptians, the Romans they faced this religion they worshipped this religion so again it's, it's, it's all shirk Ibrahim was there, was ready to die and be sacrificed and be burnt alive so that these false gods would be exposed. The sun, the moon, the stars, the trees, the man-made idols. So nowadays parents say that, uh, oh, our children, you will need to fall in love. And uh, who's your boyfriend? Who's your girlfriend? Oh, that's so cute. But when those same children get pregnant, when they have HIV, STDs, etc., etc., and the marriages break, there's a breakdown. So Saint Valentine, Valentine's Day, it's just a tool of Iblis and it wants the parents to sacrifice their children. Ibrahim salam to break the idols and to break Iblis sacrificed his son for Allah. Now we are sacrificing our children for something else. Somebody will say, okay, what are we doing wrong? We're just sending gifts. It increases love. This is all in the name of pursuit of promiscuous sexual freedom, intimacy and passion. Allah has made it halal through nikah. We worried about halal food. We need to worry about halal relationships. The couple say, you know what, we've been going out too long. Let's make it halal now. We started on the wrong note. Tell the believers to restrain their gazes and guard their chastity. Imagine how much barakah and khair for a person who is chaste. Then secondly, it is attributed to shirk and ascribing partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
That's a no go zone. So, this is a, a origin of pagan beliefs where they express spiritual love of the idols instead of Allah. So, a person is venerating the idols. Then, three, it is imitating the people of Batil. So, celebrating the day is imitating the pagan Romans and the idol worshippers. Number four, there's a lot of extravagance and wastage which Allah and His Rasul have discouraged. إِنَّ الْمُبَذِّرِينَ كَانُوا إِخْوَانَ الشَّيَاطِينَ That certainly those that waste are the brothers of Iblis. So how much money is spent on Valentine's, how much roses, etc. 22 billion US dollars in the US alone. Number five, encouraging indecency and immorality. If you do not have haya, modesty, then a person will do what they wish. That Iman is unclothed, clothed with taqwa and piety and the fear of Allah. وَزِينَتُهُ الْحَيَاءَ And its beauty is modesty. Number one, four types of modesty. Modesty from Allah. My Allah is watching me. Number two, modesty from the angels. كِرَامَ كَاتِبِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ مَا تَفْعَلُونَ Then modesty from people. And number four, modesty from oneself. Mulali Qayr Rahmatullah says, Al-Hayaw Allah Yaraka Mawlaka Haythu Nahaka. Your Mawla Allah does not see you in that place which He has forbidden you. Number six, they have their festivals, we've got our festivals. So it's filled with parties, balls, dancers, uh, social functions, music, with alcohol, drugs, immodesty. Ya Aba Bakrin, inna li kulli qawmin eidan, wa hadha eiduna, oh Abu Bakr, every nation has a eid, and this is our eid. So, have we revered our eid or their eid? They don't celebrate our days, why are we celebrating their days? And Deen has given permissibility, number seven, if you love somebody, tell him, Inni ahibbuka fillah. Tell him, I love you. Now people take the love and they want it in romantic love outside the framework of nikah and marriage. So whether you have a mistress is not a problem, but you have a second wife, it's a problem. Boyfriends, girlfriends, promiscuity, no holds barred. So shariat, shariat and deen has made it halal. We need to use the avenues which Allah has sanctioned. Then we say it's a love marriage. We need to know each other. Researchers, one of the universities did research where they took love marriages and traditional marriage. In the marriage which came out of a love story, Hollywood and Bollywood, 88% of cases ended in failure. 12% success rates and where traditional ma marriage 70% was successful. So this, this heart is for Allah, it's dedicated for Allah. There was a story of a sheikh and a lady came to him to complain and said if it was permissible for me to reveal my face I would have shown you how captivating and gorgeous I am and how Allah has endowed me with beauty. The Sheikh fell unconscious. The Murids came, Sheikh, what happened, what happened? 
He told him the story. So they said, nothing wrong, Sheikh. What's there to become unconscious? He said, as an ordinary makhluk, one of the creations of Allah, who cannot tolerate partnership in the love that the husband is giving her. If she cannot tolerate partnership, creation from the love of creation, then our hearts is filled with the ghayrullah. How much partners have we ascribed to Allah? When I thought about this year, I felt unconscious that I am guilty of the same thing. How does Allah feel? Number eight, we are aiding and abetting evil. If we help each other in goodness and piety. And we shouldn't be helping each other in sin and evil and aggression. So there is no place in deen. And even if a person does it, how much repercussion, how much consequences there are for a person who gets engaged in this. So we will continue running. Either we're going to run for the love of Allah or we're going to love for the love, uh, run for the love of the creation. You see, there was a lady walking and she passed by a shepherd. He started staring at her. She looked at him. She said, you need something? He said, yes, I've fallen in love with you. I want to marry you. So she was a supermodel, a Miss World, Miss Universe. So she said, no problem, done deal. They went to the Qadi. Qadi brought the book. What you here for? Nika, write the details. Where's the bride? Is this the bride? Subhanallah, mashallah. She's gorgeous. She's out of this world. She's a farishta. She's not eligible to marry a shepherd. She needs to marry me. Now who's going to marry the Qadi? The minister. Say, so phone's a minister, I'm busy. No, something important. What? Nikah? Okay, no problem. Come. Came there. Here's the book. Fill in the details. Where's the bride? Subhanallah. She's not eligible for you. She should marry me. Now who next? Mr. President. Phone Mr. President, I'm busy, not available. Hey, I need to make nikah. Mashallah, come, bring. That's time of the, uh, the day, no problem, I'll do it. King, details, where's the bride? Sees the bride, not eligible for you. It's an overkill. So the bride looks at all of them and says, if you want to marry me, no problem. I'm going to run. Whoever catches me, I'll marry them. Shepherd started running, minister started running, Qadi started running, judge started running, king, president started running, everybody started running. If you look at out of the windows, if you look at the highways, if you look at the airways, if you look at the railways, everybody is still running. The person that sweeps the street, the dobby, the ordinary person, to the minister, to the president, Everybody is still running. They'll run till the day of Qiyamah. They will not get this dunya. So we have to identify that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had sent us into this world for a temporary period. And if we have come for a grand purpose, a great objective, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the reality and the understanding of the shortness of this life and the importance that my first love is my Allah. The amal for today is to visit a janaza. Man shahida janaza hatta yusalli alayha. When you read Salatul Janaza, you will get one pirat. Wa man shahida hatta tudfan. And if you dare tell the burial, you get piratan, two qirat. So Saba asked, what is this qirat, two qirat? One riwayat. Mithlul Jabalayn al Azimain, two great mountains. Another riwayat, Mithlul Uhud, like the mountains of Uhud times two, you will get that reward. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.